dear teacher sir welcome to the thesis presentation session and this is the opportunity for the researcher to show the journey of your research from initial question to the findings and it will help you to emphasize the path you have taken to conduct the thesis so let's see you how you will prepare your thesis for the presentation generally uh, every researcher got the chance to present their thesis in front of some jazz and they have to prepare their slides as well and preparing the presentation outline generally required some particular topics like title slide introduction objectives literature review methodology results discussion conclusion and acknowledgement and this is the basic concept that a researcher have to put in the presentation outline let's see how they will prepare every slide number one title slide generally title slide include the thesis title the name of the researcher and the other credentials name of the institutions then finally the date of submissions in the right side there is a a template is given for the listeners for the understanding about the title slide title name institutional name and date of submission in the next the researcher have to address something about introduction what they will address here background of the study like the outline the context of the research and the broader area the researcher have shares for doing the research and the problem statement why the research has been done and for what particular problem is addressed in this in that uh, research and next in the next the research significance explain why these topics is, is important and what makes your research valuable it means that after doing this research what important problem you will solve for the society country and for the people here is a uh, template slide given in the right side uh, for problem statement like who has the problem what the problem was and when and where does the problem occur and why it is important to address the problem so this is an example to show the problem statement in the next the researcher have to address about the objectives we know there are generally two objectives included by the researcher primary objectives and secondary objectives you will just put the objectives as you have written in your thesis and along with this some time researcher can address about the research question and the hypothesis that are relevant with the research objectives literature review you know literature review is the past Uh, literary study for identifying the literature gap and chronological development of the uh, development of a particular issue uh, generally in literature review uh, the judge expect about to know the theories or models a researcher address in his or her thesis and the uh, key findings from the past studies and finally the research gap the problem or the area that is not covered yet by the past research so these are the main features to address the literature review then methodology this is very important chapter uh, in this part a researcher have to address some particular topics like research design it means the nature of the research whether it is qualitative quantitative or mixed methods in the next the researcher have to address about the research question and hypothesis although this is addressed in the previous but here uh, the researcher can justify why these objectives is uh, leading to the research question and why this hypothesis is taken and in the next the question here or instrumental design if any in many cases especially for the quantitative research many researcher use the uh use some uh 
questionnaire or instrument to identify or to measure the variable so what variable you applied or used in the model and which item or question you have addressed to measure the variable and the uh, scale you use to measure the uh, depth of the variable and the reference also how it is uh, brought to the thesis here in the next population sample and sampling which area you have conducted your thesis and how uh, you have chosen the sample like and the sampling method you have to address here in the next data collection so different types of data collection method uh, generally exist in the uh, research area so which method you used and why this is suitable for your thesis you have to address here and data analysis many researchers use different types of methods to analyze their data just tell something about which method you have addressed and why these methods is suitable for your research so this is all about the methodology section in the next we will see about the result how we will present our result generally uh, uh, we we prepare we do some analysis <coughs> in this part after the methodology we got some results so you have to present the result in a chronological way first of all you have to address the demographic statistics if any like for example uh, a gender uh, gender ratio age ratio or the other criteria if you use for conducting your research then uh, you have to address other information like correlation uh, regression or the uh, weight about your uh, variable and in the next you have to address the research answer of the research question in the beginning every researcher address some question and in this part you will show what result you have found to satisfy or to make the answer of the question that you have addressed in the beginning and later on show the hypothesis testing result many researchers use hypothesis so in this part you have to address which result are relevant to uh, justify the hypothesis and finally you have to summarize the main findings from your research for doing these uh, uh, jobs the researcher is addressed to use some charts and graph in the presentation don't go for addressing some descriptive it will not helpful but if we use the chart and graph it will more suitable to address the research findings so this is all about the results next the discussion actually in this part the researcher will interpret or the explain the findings in relation to the research question how the findings are relevant with the research question and what answer it is uh, giving to the researcher then uh, hypothesis uh, every researcher use generally some hypothesis and they have to show the results of hypothesis like hypothesis testing whether it is accepted or rejected so if it is accepted what will happen if it is rejected what will happen then the uh, research objectives so finally in this part the researcher will address uh, the about the research objectives what the uh, address in the beginning and in the ending what they found against every individual objective so this is about a discussion and finally research findings implication and conclusion every researcher found some uh, findings in this part you will just do a summary of the research finding not everything in the elaborative form and in the later part you have to address the implication who will be benefited like for example reader uh, researcher and uh, the society and who which stakeholder will get benefit from your findings and how they will be benefited and the recommendation from your thesis if sometime in some research uh, it is helpful to address some recommendation for the particular society organization you can address it here and in the uh, uh, next you have to address the limitation of your thesis if any but it is not mandatory and the conclusion in the conclusion the researcher have to provide a quick summary of the uh, findings 
uh, recommendation it is not always required sometime it is required and uh, future research if you have any future direction uh, from your research you can also address it here acknowledgement this is also very important in some uh, research uh, there is a support from the other parties you have to address it here like you have to thank your advisor your committee members uh, funding sources and anyone who contribute to your research and uh, before ending or closing your uh, thesis presentation you have to prepare a slide that invites a question from the audience audience means the judge or anybody else uh, present uh, in the attend in the presentation program and finally you, you have to include a thank you message for a positive closing so this is the summary of outline around 20 slides you can prepare for a 20 to 25 minutes presentation uh, based on the depth of the thesis it might be uh, different it sometimes it might be uh, more than 50 slides as it required and at the time you have given to uh, present your thesis generally for a thesis students for in a master's level uh, for a 20 to 25 or 30 minutes presentation i think uh, 20 slide around is uh, sufficient so that's all for today thank you for your uh, patience hearing